The North Atlantic Council meeting at the level of foreign ministers is taking place in Brussels from April 3 to 4. As part of this meeting, celebrations are being held to mark the 75th anniversary of the alliance's founding. This action was opened, along with Secretary General Stoltenberg, the head of the U.S. State Department Blinken, apparently, so that none of the so-called equal partners would have any doubts as to who is in charge. This is another reminder that the aggressive bloc, which was created by the Anglo-Saxons under the pretext of confronting the Soviet Union, and in fact with the aim of maintaining the hegemony of the West under American leadership, continues to be an instrument of ensuring the interests of the United States first of all, and above all, aggressive and destructive. Even now, when the alliance is close to our borders, I would like to remind you that with Finland's accession to it in the year 23, the line of contact with Russia almost doubled. The NATO does not stop saying that this is a purely defensive structure. In general, it is strange to hear such statements, taking into account NATO's aggression against Yugoslavia, the NATO adventures in Iraq, Afghanistan, Libya, what was the need for six waves of NATO expansion? Even after the Soviet Union collapsed and the Warsaw Pact organization ceased to exist, the same question has no answer. Those who know the truth have the answer, because the alliance is aggressive, and its ideology is destructive. This after documented assurances from Westerners to the Soviet leadership that the alliance would not move eastward. Today, with regard to their relationship with Russia, the North Atlantic bloc has reverted to Cold War attitudes. In its doctrinal documents, our country is declared direct, quote, the most significant direct threat, end quote. There is an active military buildup on the eastern flank. Unprecedented in scale exercises are being held to practice combat operations against Russia. They're not even hiding it. Washington and their allies are waging a hybrid war with our country with the help of Ukraine. They are unconditionally pouring billions of dollars to support the neo-Nazi terrorist regime of Zelensky. The goal is the same, to inflict on Russia, as they say, a strategic defeat. 